guys, I'm back. Not that I went anywhere, but I haven't really posted an actual vlog or regular talking video in a while. It's been some reviews, shorts, things like that, and I'll still probably post those. But I want to get back to YouTube. You know, I was just in a little bit of a slump. You know, I felt like all I'm posting about is my injury and this and that, and as things get better, then they get worse again. But you know what? I need to post regardless. I need to look back on these videos, and more importantly, I need to give you all something to watch. And uh, we're getting after it today. We got a four mile run. Uh, I plan on doing some speed work in between, so kind of mile warm up, two miles around tempo, and a mile cool down, nothing too crazy. But basically, the past six weeks, I've been recovering from this IT band. I've been doing a lot of things different from last time that I think are gonna work. And I'll make a video when I, when I truly, truly overcome this and recover, and I'm months into running fine, then I'm gonna make a video explaining all the things I think that work, because there's a lot of videos online, they give you suggestions, but I wanna give some more practical hands-on advice. But anyway, the point is I've been running the past six weeks, I'm still sticking to three days a week, uh, running roughly like 16 to 20 miles right now. So this week I plan on doing four today, eight uh, Thursday, and then six Saturday. And so that's the plan, that's what I'm doing, slowly again increasing that mileage and increasing the elevation that I'm training on. But that's the deal. So. Let's get after it. All right, in case it's windy, I'm gonna talk here real quick. So like I said, I plan on doing four miles. Uh, those two miles in between are going to be that kind of tempo pace. And what I'm kind of thinking for tempo is, obviously I'm not gonna be heaving or out of breath, but I'm just gonna be focused on pushing a pace. So I'm not gonna set any kind of parameters for a certain you know pace per se, but really I'm just thinking about kind of like an RPE, if you're uh, familiar with that term, rate of perceived exertion kind of shooting for that kind of like eight range to where I'm obviously pushing myself and propelling forward but it's not you know overextending especially for two miles um, you know I need to obviously be able to sustain it so nothing too crazy very simple very short sweet speed work uh, but I know I need it even though I don't want to do it so that's gonna be it I also got my trusty mini band and I'll probably roll out a little bit and then I got some a number of different uh, drills and warm-ups I'm gonna do to get this body moving So I thought I would not need them anymore, but it is quite cold this week. So thank God I got the gloves packed up in the car. It's kind of messy in my car, honestly. I just have a ton of different, you know, extra pair of running shoes, trail shoes, blister tape, electrolytes, all kinds of junk, but all, all with practical purpose. So let's throw these on and get running. Alright, two miles done, taking a five minute walk rest time, and then I'm going to pick it up with that mile cool down, and then we'll wrap it up. Alright, so let's go over this run real quick. Four miles went really good actually. The first, so essentially where I'm running in this little neighborhood it's uh, like a half mile loop that I'm kind of using because it's fairly level so there's a little bit of elevation gain and loss but not much so I feel like it's a good spot for me to kind of build back up my fitness level and it's also kind of good because it's almost like I said about a half mile exactly on every loop so that's what I'm doing and I, I care to mention that because the first two loops so the first mile um, I was able to maintain kind of closer to an eight minute per mile pace and uh, it felt pretty good, but I, nearing the end of the first mile, I knew, I was like, I don't know if I can maintain this. And that second mile spent at tempo definitely was harder, but I held my own more than I thought I was going to. So it ended up being, I think, an 821 on the splits. And overall, I'm kind of happy with it. I, I haven't really done any speed work uh, since like last year, to be honest. So considering that, considering I'm still like easing back into my usual mileage, uh, I'll take it, you know. I'm slow anyway, 
so it, it's not like I come in with much of an ego. But overall, it went really good. Coros put me at a 108% running performance, so basically what that means is you've been slow as shit, and now you're actually running a little bit better. So that's, that's what I'm taking out of that. But uh, 914 overall pace on the run, four miles, felt pretty good. Legs both feel pretty good. So taking the positive out of it, happy about it. And uh, like I said, we're gonna move on to Thursday and Saturday, get some more distance in at an easier pace and see how those runs go. All right, so two more runs to finish the week. How'd they go? I did eight miles Thursday, which is the first time I've ran eight miles in a few months now. I'm itching, inching, not itching, inching back up uh, my mileage. Just kind of every every other week, basically, I'm adding a little bit of distance. So I think two weeks ago was the first time I did six miles. Then the next week I did like two six mile runs. Then this week it was like eight mile and then a six mile Saturday. Taking it very slow. I'll throw up a picture on the screen basically. Progress is super slow, but that's how I'm keeping it. I think the very micro increases from week to week are gonna keep me from re-aggravating, re-injuring anything. And that's all I'm focused on. I don't care how slow it takes. I don't care how small my progress is. I just want to run, man. I love this stuff. It does so much for me mentally, physically, spiritually. I just feel I feel like a better person when I'm running. So just trying to get back to doing that consistently. And so far, I am. Eight miles went really well. Um, felt good. Kind of midway through, I felt a little bit of not not any pain, not any pain, but I'm just a little bit in my head. I almost just overstress any sensation I feel in, in my legs. I'm like, oh, is it coming on? Is it coming on? Luckily, right leg's been feeling amazing, and that's that's the side I've been feeling most stuff for months now, so that's actually been feeling very good. I think all the yoga, uh, turmeric, uh, supplementation, and uh, massage, all the things I've been doing, I think have been helping. The only thing is the past two weeks, I've been starting to feel a little bit of a sensation, not pain, but just like I, I can mentally like feel something's a little bit tight on my left side, and I'm like, no, don't go from right leg to left leg with an injury. And I'm not there, but just something I'm like mentally trying to fight and make sure I don't aggravate and just, you know, go from one side to the other. But besides that, the eight miles went really well, all continuous, no breaks. Saturday, same deal, six miles, no breaks, felt really good. So it was a great confidence boost to just have this week go very smooth. Each run kind of had its, not first or first in a while, but each run kind of really set up some more momentum as far as like doing a good speed workout Tuesday, longest run in a while Thursday. Saturday was just a really smooth, comfortable run. Uh, I went kind of like an in intuitive type of pace, just easy going, but for, for it being an easy going pace and a warmer Saturday afternoon, I did 10, 10 12 of a pace, which isn't, isn't fast at all, but for the first time in a while, my paces are getting a little bit faster. I'm kind of like slowly regaining my fitness. So just been happy with that. Sorry for the lack of footage and uh, videos over the past few weeks. It just is what it is. Maddie and I, who's my wife, uh, A, we got married recently, so now I can say wife, and then B, uh, we're moving soon. So we're actually moving to Colorado Springs in uh, late June, early July, something like that. We bought a home there. So we're kind of just a little stressed and, and planning everything around that move. And uh, it's, it's very exciting for a number of reasons for us, and it would definitely be great to get more running footage there and talk about elevation and, you know, there's a tons of different races like Leadville I plan on going to, not running, but just going to and, and witnessing more of that running culture there. But uh, a, lot of, a lot of big, cool changes happening in my life uh, over the next few months. So I appreciate you guys watching, supporting, sticking around everything like that. Follow me on Instagram for more content. I post on there super regularly. So if you're trying to connect with me more often, see more content, that's the place to be. But uh, like the video, subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys later.